pile, I'm going to make what I call a mug shrug. And uh, I'm going to show you how to start a single crochet foundation chain. That was a slip knot. Do two chains. Go through two loops on top of the hook. Yarn over, pull through once. Yarn over, pull through once again. Yarn over and pull through both. Now you go back to the loop here, not this one, this one. You do two yarn overs and pull through once, then you pull through two. One, one, two. One, one, two. If you need more information, I have a um, much more detailed uh, instructional video on how to do a foundation chain. Okay, so you're at the end of your um, single crochet foundation row. Let me just pull that loop up a little bit so I don't lose it. I just want you to know that it doesn't have to be that long. Just make sure that there's a stitch that will fit below and a stitch that will fit above your handle. That's all. That's all you need. Okay, so we're going to turn your work. Go under both stitches at the end, both, um, both strands at the end, and pull up a loop and then pull through two loops. You've just done a stacked single crochet. Now do back loop only, single crochets all the way across. That means you go into the V at the top. So here's the side, here's the, the top. And just do single crochets all the way across. single crochet, back loop only, till you get to the last one. Go through both loops. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. Go through both loops on that end. Turn. Go through both loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through two loops. Now, back loop only, single crochets till you get to that last stitch on the row. And then you just do a regular single crochet. Go through both of those loops at the end. Turn your work, go back under both loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Back loop only, single crochet, all the way across. You can keep doing this, this row, until you're able to cover your entire mug from one side to the other. I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm at the end. I had to add on some yarn because I ran out of yarn that last skein. So as you can see, it's uh, maybe if I want to make it tighter so it's snug. And uh, I think I'm going to do that. I think I might make it snug. I don't know. Maybe one more row. But it's up to you. Decide on how tight you want it to be, how far apart you want your stitches to pull. This is a acrylic, so if you stretch it, it may not come back. Um, 
especially if it's under a lot of heat for a long time. So I might just do another row or two. But um, yeah, it's up to you. You decide where you want to cut off your your mug shrug. The cow neck for your coffee cup. Your tea sweater. I don't know. What else would you call these things? I think this is it. This is going to be it. I'll come back. So I'm at the end here. And I'm going to put these ends here. Go right through this, this corner. You see this corner? Right there. I'm going to get that yarn. Pull it through. Tighten it up. Let's go through the next. Just pull it through. All right. Let's just do slip stitches down the end. Okay, we got two stitches left here. Just put them both through here and here. And you could do either slip stitches or you could do uh, single crochets. I'm just going to do slip stitches. All right, and then you do two chains at the end. Tighten it up. There you go. You can put that on your, your the handle. I would not put anything acrylic in the microwave, so do not put this on your mug and then put this in the microwave like this. This will melt your acrylic, but it will be nice to be able to hold it like this and warm your hands up. And it's a nice little autumn cozy. This will um, make a nice little gift and it's a nice little gift for yourself. And um, happy autumn. And uh, I hope that you have a lovely Halloween. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.